Okay, so here is the standard Wrangler Sport and Sport S LED lighting that's under the dash when you just shut the vehicle off. It's just courtesy lighting. In the Saharas and the Rubicons, it's different. They also have ambient lighting. So when you turn your car on, it's like a subtle lighting that goes underneath. So with the wiring, this is what's going to happen. So when you turn your car off and you're exiting the car or you open your door, you're going to have the stock lighting that's underneath. But that shuts off when you turn your car on in a Sport and a Sport S. But here's what we're doing. So now when I turn on my ignition, now I have these lights that turn on and the white lighting turns off. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. All right, to start, first things first, is we need to go down to an AutoZone or a Kragen or whatever you have near your favorite place as far as automotive retailer and pick out LED lighting. Now, it doesn't matter what you do if you get the connector that has the butt end like this or if you get one that already is a, a cut and ready to go. But first things first, you get this, and as you'll see on these things, a lot of them already are pre-done with 3M tape. Uh, that's good. Uh, however, I do also like to put like a little twist tie around it. So once we fasten it up underneath the dash in your favorite spot, then what we'll do is also wrap a little thing around it because what happens in the summer if you live in a hotter climate is sometimes it'll get really hot in your car and you'll end up, that tape won't hold and it'll end up on, your, on your floorboard. So let's, let's avoid that. So first things first, we're going to get this and we're going to cut it. Now, we'll cut those off and what you'll see inside of here a lot of times is you'll see a pot of, uh, positive and negative uh, sides. So what we're going to do is so you're not running two different sets of wires through your dash, we're going to splice. We're going to splice these all together into. Pardon me. Into one cord. So what we'll do basically is take both ends, and we'll go. We'll take the two negatives and go to a negative wire, like such, and then we'll take the two positives, and we'll put them together and wire them up as such, so that in the end you only have to run one, one set of wires to your dash. Now, as far as connections go, there's a whole moral outrage if you do it one way, or if you do it with butt connectors, or if you do it however, you, some guys use, use duct tape, we're not here for that. Uh, we're here to show you, you know, how to do this, so uh, comment as you will, but this is, this is, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, what you'll need to do this install is very simple. I like to use nylon basically nylon trim tools. I like these because they don't scratch anything, you don't have their durable, and it pops everything right off. Pretty simple. Yes and no, you could use a meter or your favorite test light. The biggest thing for these is to make sure uh, you know, you're, you're clipping into the right wires. I'm going to tell you which wire to clip into, but if you're doing it on your own, you want to make sure to uh, go to a ground, and then you're trying to find which wire is going to be, well, to your choice also, a lit control uh, light control circuit or your ignition circuit. Also, some wire cutters, and really the only screwdriver you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so let's fast forward, and now we're sitting inside of our JL Wrangler, and the first thing we have to do is we have to assess this dash, because what we want to do after we have already stuck up our lights underneath and we've already ran our wires through the back of the dash, is now we have to remove this trim here. Fortunately for us, the JL Wrangler is very, very easy to do, so what you want to do is you focus in right here, we're going to take our trim tool, and I like to use these nylon ones because they're really durable and they don't really scratch anything. But And just use gentle pressure and pull towards you. And once you kind of start to get it off, then everything is connected with these pressure clips in the back. So just be careful not to yank it too hard. You just want to use smooth and steady pressure. And when I get this out here, you'll see exactly what I mean. So you pull out right here, and these are just the pressure clips right here. That's the only way they're held in. There's no screws or anything like that, so, so they remove pretty easy. Now on the back, there's a clip right here. You want to unclip this right there. Fairly easy. And now here, go over to your ignition side, and same thing. You're going to hit this clip right up here on the top, and you're going to pull it out. Just use some steady pressure, and now this is released, and we can set it aside. Alrighty, so now that we have that taken apart, I'm going to fish my wires. Now, these are the wires that we showed earlier that we already pre-wired. And this is the reason why you only want one set of wires, because otherwise, if you did both sets from the passenger well and the, 
the driver's foot well, you'd have four wires up here, and it's just it's it's a little messier, and it's easier to do because you can actually do the soldering and everything of those outside of the Jeep, so you don't have to worry about being up inside here. So this is really just to make it easy and simple. So now that we we do this, I like to pull the wire up through the driver's side well and up through where the ignition solenoid would sit. So I pull these up. And I actually, if you, if you notice, I've already pre-done mine, as you'll see right here. I ran them behind the back of the deck, and I pulled them out from, from here. So I'm going to take the ground after I do that, as you see right here. And this screw goes into the chassis, which means it's a good ground. So I'll pull this screw, and this, for example, again, going into the dynamics of things, you do the things you want to do, I'll do the things the way I want to do it, but, but really... What you want to do is you want to put a grommet on here, and I like to solder everything up nice and tight. And then I'd remove this screw, and I would put it into there, and I would just and screw it down, and you have a nice solid ground. Now, once that's done, all I have left to wire is my hot side. So how do you get to the hot side? I like to wire mine up to the constant or to the uh, switched power, which goes into my, well, we used to call them cigarette lighters. Now we're calling them, you know, cell phone chargers or whatever you want to call it. But basically, there's a screw right here. We're going to un undo that. And just like the Show climate the control, screw, again. The screw goes right here. So oh, this okay. screw is just a screw that's all, it's the only screw you have to remove. It goes right here. It's just a uh, regular Phillips head screwdriver. Pull it out, put it in a safe, uh, safe place so you don't forget it. Now, just like, just like the, the climate control side, this right here is also just pressure. All it is is pressure clips. Just pr nice and steady pressure. Little bit, little bit, and it'll pop just like that. Don't be afraid, just don't use too much pressure. It'll come, you just have to coax it. Just like that. Don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. Or, let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna pull that away. So now, if you look closer, I've already pre-done mine, so we're not gonna go into it, but quick and easy way is right there. So you can use a wire splice. Again, you can use whatever you would like to do. Uh, what's your favorite uh, method for going into a wire? But I used a wire splice, and I spliced it into this pink wire right here. It's a pink wire with a white stripe, and that one is powered only when you turn on your ignition. So don't worry about your lights underneath always being on. Whenever you turn on your ignition, the lights will come on. When you turn your ignition off, the lights will go off. All righty? So once we do that, we have it all wired up. Don't bother this tape here. I just have it just to keep all the wires together to keep it neat. But again, we're just going to reverse what we did. We, I spliced it into it, and now I'm putting it back together again. So make sure you have this wire out, and then we're going to tuck your USB wires in right here just like that. Make sure you don't pinch anything. And these clips, this is how simple it is. Just a nice steady pressure. Pop them on. And that is it as far as that goes. And now we're going to go to the uh, climate control unit right here. And again on the back. Remember this, this gets plugged into there, Oops. I accidentally hit that, and then you take your ignition side, don't forget about that, it's up underneath, and you're going to clip into there, just like that, and like I said, it's very easy to forget stuff, so here's that little screw we were talking about, make sure that we plug that in, it'll stay in with it or without it, but might as well. She put it there for a purpose. And then slowly tuck your wire up, in, up into the thing right here where your ignition goes. And once you're in there, it'll slide right in, nice and easy. And then clip it in, clip it in, clip it in. And that is it. It is really that simple. Literally, this should take you from beginning to end maybe 15 minutes, maybe half an hour if you really kind of know what you're doing. But as far as how I broke down everything right here, it should be a quick and simple install. Okay, so now we finished up our install. Really quick, really simple, really easy. Your Jeep is still uh, in great condition as you notice. And this is what we're trying to accomplish. So when you get into your Jeep and now you go to start it up and you press your ignition button as you look in the foot wells, now you have your nice lighting. The weird thing about this is on film, it'll show it as being a lot more intense than it really is in real life. It's just a nice set of lighting. But that also depends on whatever kind of LED light you choose. But for the most part, at night when driving around, it really, really helps as far as if you drop something or, or it just adds a nice touch to your Jeep. So 
really thinking about doing some other videos, guys and girls. Uh, kind of depends on if you have any questions. I've virtually taken apart this Jeep and redid everything. I've been inside, outside. So if anybody has any questions on how to do things, please subscribe. Uh, we're actually thinking of doing a channel. It depends on your interest or if you have any suggestions. Uh, we're up for it. Uh, but thank you for watching.